Hello everybody, I'm the Hydra Thief War 3. Now you might be wondering, hey Hydra, why do you have the Explorer set and all that other goody stuff? Uh, well that's because I had recorded an episode and I did not complete said episode. Plus, the audio in that episode was really, really, really hard to sync up. So I figured why not just go back and uh, go through the area again so you guys can see. Um, I have played through this game too much. I may have spoiled a lot of stuff. So this is no longer going to be a blind run. This is going to be a try not to die run. So this is being recorded way later, way after the fact. So I still have not yet beaten this game. So the ending will still be fairly new to me. Um, but we're just going to go back through the, the forest of the fallen giants and just commentate on our way through. So I need to adjust some stuff, need to move some stuff, and uh, we are good to go. Uh, I am going to go through that area again and just let you guys see everything. So I have gotten the uh, small white sign soapstone and the big white sign soapstone. I'm not human right now, so I cannot summon anybody. I'm not in a party with anybody. I have myself set to uh, busy, so uh, we don't have to worry about anybody uh, shooting us notifications and stuff like that. So we're just going to have a good time going through uh, Forest of the Fallen Giants. I hope you guys can hear me well while I'm facing the TV. I might want to actually move my microphone so you can actually... There, that's better. You guys can probably hear me better now, but you can probably hear the Xbox way louder. Uh, I still have yet to fix how loud the fan is. I have tried uh, compressed air to kind of like, you know, shoot inside the Xbox, make sure uh, there isn't any dust that needs to be flung around. Um, I've That's pretty much all I've tried, but I don't really know what else I should try and go for. If you guys have any uh, suggestions to get my Xbox to shut up, uh, that would be very useful. Uh, we do have life gems. So, as you can see, we already looted all this stuff. Uh, we probably could have just teleported there, but I, I, I want to show you guys the area. Hold on. What does this ring do? Additional reduction of enemy poise. So, I don't know what both those symbols mean. One of them, I know, means the poise. The other one, I have no idea. I do have my turtle beaches on. So I can hear everything pretty well. So it's going to be easy to notice if anything's coming up from behind us. Except I can't hear arrows flying through the air. That's the only problem. Uh, I'm going to be fairly concentrating during these fights. Because I still fairly suck at the game. <laughs> More than I should. Although it is the beginning, so I'm pretty sure anyone sucks in the beginning because you don't have that much supplies to go with. Especially since I don't have a shield yet. I still have the DLC items, but I don't use them. So, that guy is being a douche. We're still playing as the Sorcerer, I just got far enough to be able to buy the Explorer's set from the Merchant. I don't know if I said that I bought it from the Merchant before, but I did buy it from the Merchant. So that's how I have it. Uh, I'm going to be chatting to the merchant, so after we kill the last giant, we can uh, have the merchant back at Majula, so we can buy stuff from our hub, our hubby place, hubby wubby. Um, there's really nothing much to talk about. Uh, there's been a lot of games coming out lately, a lot of games for uh, games for gold, and I don't know, they're kind of interesting. Uh, one of them that was just not too long ago was Dust and Elys Elysian Tale. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it is a very fairly interesting game. I might look into it a little bit more. I've killed the first boss already. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything if you guys have not played the game. I think the game came out in uh, early 2013 or late 2014. I'm, I don't remember when it came out. I just remember seeing a lot about it. I never really looked into it though. But now that's free. I've been uh, paying more attention to it. As in playing it. 
that's pretty much it. There hasn't really been much else other than me and my friends playing Diablo 3, trying out hardcore uh, on the Xbox 360 version, of course. Um, oh yeah, Dark Souls 2 came out on the PC. Uh, that is a big boost for Dark Souls. I've been watching live streams lately. Uh, I've been debating on whether or not I should do live streams. I've been trying to do live streams, but it doesn't seem like my uh, game capture is able to do such a thing. I've been trying it. It hasn't been working. I'm kind of parched right now, but that's okay. Anyway, this guy just shot me in the fucking shoulder with an arrow, and now he's dead. We already got that item, so we're pretty much just heading through this area again. Uh, we don't need to pick up any items, we just need to get through it. Uh, I've been trying to do live streams. I've been looking at live streams too. And how uh, ever since Dark Souls 2 came out on the PC, the uh, viewers on it have shot up tremendously. Like, beforehand it was only like, you know, a couple thousand viewers. Then it shot up to about 10,000 viewers, which is crazy. It's kind of getting up there with all the uh, the other stuff, you know, like Daisy, Standalone, all those other games. I think it's kind of cool how uh, this game is getting so much uh, more renowned than it was when it was just on console. Well, I mean, it, it was still renowned when it was on console, it just wasn't as played. Or streamed, that is. Uh, so we are uh, fairly well off right now with uh, Estus. Mostly because we uh, rested at that bonfire, which was a smart move. Backstabs are still harder to get in this game. That is the, the hit recognition on them anyway. With Dark Souls 1, you would just kind of like teleport to their back, and this one you have to kind of relocate yourself to behind them, and then wait until they the game recognizes it as an enemy, and then, you know, all that fun stuff. Just got my ass kicked by that guy. Still haven't killed Hyde Knight over here. I'm kind of debating whether I should or not. I'm probably going to wait until I get better items. I'm going to head off and uh, do that. I believe we have two daggers. Yes, we do. We have two daggers, so if one of them breaks, we can kind of switch off. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the durability of this one. We just kind of have to worry about the durability of the second one, which I believe won't be a problem because... Hold on, I was just checking to see if those guys would run out. Okay, now that we take care of those guys... Um... I don't think it'll be a problem because we can just rush past all these guys and get to the bonfire. I think I dropped a firebomb. This guy's gonna shoot arrows at us. We don't have to worry about that though, just cut the shit out of him. Try not to die. I feel like I have myself concentrating more and more in this game, because there's a lot more uh, precautions that you need to take. So through here, this is the bonfire, this is where we were, this is where I got in the episode, we opened up that shortcut. We're not going to go through that shortcut, unless you guys really want me to. I, you know, I feel like I might just go through the shortcut. I already did all this. I know you guys might want to, but you probably have already seen other people do it anyway. Either that or have you done it for yourself. So, I think we're just gonna buy... Oh, I really want that Pharaoh's Lockstone. We could buy more soul arrows. I have to, t I have to take a look at my attunement slots. Attunement. I completely forgot how to check that. Uh, shite. Okay, so we only have one. I was sorry that I probably should have just gone for that to begin with. We only have one attunement slot. It wouldn't be smart to buy a uh, 
another sorcery at this moment in time. But we do want to save up to get this Pharos's Lockstone because there's an item that we want tremendously, which uh, is one of why one of my most favorite rings in uh, the first Dark Souls, and it helps out a lot. So pretty much we're just gonna spam A on this woman and get her to uh, say that they uh, they're gonna trouble back. I have a bargain for you next time we meet. So that means that they're gonna head back to Majula. Uh, after we kill the lost giant, so we're gonna go do that, and uh, <coughs> we're gonna go do that and see if we we should probably try and crunch a humanity, not a humanity, human effigy. I always call it humanity. So we're gonna put that back on. Might as well put that on too. Rest here. I don't know if, they're, if our sorcery stuff is better than that, though. I mean, yeah, in some locations it's not good for physical, though. I think we're just going to stick with the stuff we have on. We might want to work towards getting a shield, if we can put on a shield. I mean, we could go back to Majula and level up, but I don't really feel that's necessary. I probably should be using sorceries more often than I think about it. Because they are really helpful, especially against these guys. So now we can head this way. We went through that way uh, in the episode that got lost. Now we're just going to head this way. I think we're going to try and bait these guys into throwing their bombs down here. Alright, so we killed this turtle guy. Now, I don't know if I went up there and dealt with those guys before. I think I might have. I don't know if I. I don't think I'm gonna go up there and fight him. Now. We wanna take care of these guys from a distance because they're assholes. So we took care of that guy. Take care of that guy. Sweet. I don't think we've gotten to this area in the last episode. So this is a this is all new for you guys. That guy literally has like one health left. There's no getting out of that one, buddy. Hate to burst your bubble. So now we can walk through this mist, and then it'll bring us to a shortcut. Which we can go back to the bonfire and summon people for the boss. I don't know if I want to summon people. I might just end up summoning people. We could just crunch a life gem and just... Nah. We, we want to restock on soul arrows. That would probably be a smart idea. I wish I had somebody else that was on that I could uh, commentate with. But that, that, to be honest, that just makes the, uh, the audio way harder to sync up. So, I think we're just going to leave it just me for now. We're just going to head through, you know, with people summoning. If there's anybody down here to summon, that is. We could try going dual wield daggers. Nah, that just seems stupid. Ha! Ah, suck it. Alright. So this is the guy, Mild Manor Pate. This is the guy that gave us our White Science Soapstone in the 
the last episode. Oh, look at all these other summon signs. Hunting Wobbits. And crack a sack. I'd rather summon crack a sack. Ah, fuck. Okay, Hunting Wobbits is being summoned. Sweet. I remember back in the first uh, week or so of this game, and every single time you tried to summon somebody, someone else would have already summoned them, and you would be like, come on, man. I need their help more than you do. The, the reason I like summoning people, though, is because... For one, it makes the boss easier, and for two, I like it because it makes it so that they get souls as well, because that's why they're here. So I'm going to give this guy a ready hoe, and then we're just going to head in. So I'm going to leave the cutscene for you guys to watch, I'll be right back. So this starts off the fight, he starts running at you, and uh, you just gotta be smart enough to dodge him. This is pretty much all he does, except in the middle of the fight there's something that you guys will see. Surprisingly, he's not doing much. Wild Manor Pate is doing the number on him, though. Yep, this is what he does. Oh no, my arm! I know he's coming after me. So you just kind of like stay underneath him, let him do his weird like feet padding thing. These guys are doing a number on him, so I'm just gonna let him handle it while I stay back and shoot at him. Unless the last giant's aggro is on me, then I want to dodge as thoroughly as I can, and we're good. War cry. Thank you, hunting wobbits. I will send you a message after this to let you know that you were in a recording and that you have helped me out with the uh, the final boss, or not the what the fuck am I talking? The final boss, the first boss. God, I'm dumb. Holy crap, why did I say fine? I don't even know what the final boss is. Fucking stupid. <laughs> Too fucking stupid. Anyway. So we killed that boss. That was the last giant. And now we are going to be heading back to Majula. And going to the next area. So we are, we are already in... 18 minutes and 39 seconds. That is a good time. Especially for this area. What do you think? I don't know what he was doing there. What are you doing in the doorway? Is that the guy that walks across the little bridge thing over there? I guess it was. Now we can buy the, uh, the Pharos' Lockstone. And we can, uh, go get the Chlorinthy Ring. We can also get the blacksmith's key, along with uh, one more of uh, human effigies, and probably that, because we're probably going to update our attunement. And uh, we can go and get our chlorinthy ring. Actually, we might want to might have wanted to rest here because we want our soul arrows back. Plus, we don't want that guy aggroed down there, either. Angroed. That is what I was going to say. We don't want that guy angroed. That guy was mad. This guy's going to die. That was pretty easy. And now we're going to head down and get ourselves our Chlorothy Ring. 
I wonder if those those guys in here probably spawn back, so I want to be cautious. I'm gonna just try and uh, run past these guys and get to the ladder. So this is what I'll do. Let's hop down. Bye. I'm gonna go get stuff. Oh, I haven't gone in here yet. That's surprising. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, you better back off. This is a trap. Or a slot stone. I would love to. So this is something that I didn't know for a major a, like a good chunk of this game. Those uh Pharaoh's lockstones things, those are the only things that can activate something where it'll be like an illusory wall from Dark Souls, where if you hit it it'll break. But any other illusory wall where it does not have that symbol, you would have to hit A on the wall. Which, for one, is very annoying because people can put up messages right in front of the illusory wall that you cannot... You, <laughs> There's no way to open up the illusory wall if there's a message in front of it. At least not that I've known of. And if they did put the message down there to be a troll, then... <laughs> I don't know if there's a way around it. If there is, you guys can probably tell me because you know Dark Souls 2 better than I do. But I really do hate that. Anyway, we're going to try and get past this. It's the poison one. This one's easy to get by. Oh, this is a titanite. Yep. These people are still tapping up here. Hey guys, how you doing? These guys are so persistent. Ow. You guys suck, you know that? Like, really bad. I'm just gonna try and get up here. Away from all this madness. Drink an acid flask, come back down. Get a, uh, a text message. And come back down and try and grab that great Solero. Look at them, they're all swarming around like, like flies. I like fish. I think fish would be a better analogy. They do a lot of damage though, now that I think about it. I wonder if I could trick them into uh, running in front of one of these and then getting them with it. I doubt it. They're too fast. We don't need to kill them anyway. We got everything down there. We can just head back to Majula. My foot is falling asleep because I am. <laughs> I have my legs crossed while I'm sitting. Let's just head back to Majula and get ourselves some uh, upgrades going on. Also, my right arm is really sore, and I don't know why. I wish I knew why, because then I could help it, but all I did was like. I just took two ibuprofen, and it. I don't know, it still hurts. I think it's mostly because I slept on it weird. You know that time? You know, there's always that time for somebody where you sleep on your arm weird and you just don't care. You're just gonna leave it and then you wake up and your whole arm is numb and you're like, whoa, this is kind of cool but it sucks because you can't even, <laughs> you can't move it. You have to like take your left arm and like raise it by the wrist or something like that. <laughs> it's so dumb. There. Anyway. We're gonna level up, and we're gonna let the uh, the blacksmith into his house or his area too. Now we have two attunement slots, which is great. We might want to upgrade our strength a little bit so we can uh, wield a shield. I don't know if we can wield a shield with five strength. Let's see if we can. Oh, sure we can. It's just a really bad shield. Let me see here. Yeah, it's just a really bad shield. 
It's better than nothing, though. Anyway, we're gonna let the blacksmith in here. We're gonna get ourselves our short bow. And I think we will go on here. Great Solero? Mmm, yeah. This sounds like a good idea. Readjust some stuff here. That's better. At least I think that's better. So now we're gonna head into this hides place. I don't remember what it's called. I still haven't figured out everything's name yet in this game. I have yet to memorize everything. I've made so many characters that it's hard to, uh... I don't really pay attention to what these places are called. The only places I know are, uh, Forest of Giants and Majula. That's it. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, I hope we have some summon signs when we go into this next area. Because, uh, I know it's the preferred next area, but I do not like this area. Considering the fact that we do not have anything that can take out multiple enemies at once, which is something that we're gonna need. And... I don't think barely anybody puts their summon signs down here. I don't... well, I mean... I bet people do put their summon signs down here, but many people do not know how to handle this area. So... That's the thing. So I might just do what I always do. At least getting to uh, one of the bosses is just run through everything. But I think if there's people to summon, we might as well summon them. And we'll go from there. So, oh, this place. Oh, you know, I was thinking it was Hyde's Tower of Flame, but I couldn't remember. And I didn't want to sound wrong. I didn't want to be wrong. No, don't. Don't travel. So, who is this person? I don't even know how to pronounce that, but thank you for being here. I will be shooting both these guys a message, letting them know that they're helping me out a ton. Uh, majority of them don't send a message back, but I'm hoping they do. Just for, uh... For morality's sake, I guess. That is if they, they actually get into our game, which they did. Is he here? Okay, he is here. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go then. We have to deal with this guy first. This guy's going fat roll, but he does do a lot of damage, and he's hitting them with a shield, too. Is that the eagle shield? The one that you can buy from the merchant? I guess so. Now we gotta deal with this guy. Oh, that hurt. Okay, he does have Hyde's sword. Keep wailing on him. I'm a distraction. Okay, good. We got a sublime bone dust. We got a human effigy? Yes. Now we need to deal with this guy. Oh, dude, where are you going? We gotta deal with this guy.
That guy... This guy had no idea what was coming to him. I'm gonna crunch a life gem. I'm gonna lure this guy out with great soul arrows. I'm wondering if this guy knows that he can heal himself. Okay, he does. That's good. If you can handle that guy... Oh, well. I have them both aggro, so this guy can just wail on him. Sweet. That guy scared me. I thought he was going to hit me, but no, he glitched. Okay. Now this guy has his aggro, so we can just do this. Get his aggro back. Now this guy can wail on him while I kind of just lure him with the swings. Okay, cool. And we're going to head this way, guy. Actually, we're going to pull this lever. Okay, he is following us. Sweet. I don't know if we really need this guy. We could probably just like... Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt to summon more people, but... Yeah, it doesn't hurt to summon more people. Plus, this guy's a tank anyway. Cool. So I'm ready to head in when this guy is. Let's do it. This guy's not that hard anyway. This guy's pretty easy. Forgot how easy this guy was. I haven't played this game in a while, by the way. Well, our, our buddy's been uh, slain. At least he helped us out through a lot, so I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna send him a message saying thanks. I'm just gonna keep poking you in the butt until you realize I'm poking you in the butt. Now my buddy's gonna slash you a little bit. This is the only thing I can do that really hurts him, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Mr. Glencore is being the tankiest tank right now. It's kind of awesome. Cool. So we killed the Dragon Rider. I think that's good enough for an episode. We're about half an hour in. I'm going to keep recording some more after this. Uh, like, subscribe if you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.